My name is Miles. I'm with Wilco Land, and I'm here to show you a 35-acre property in Northern California. This is located in Shasta County. I'm going to share my screen with you right now. And what we'll do is we'll go over common questions. I'll touch on some of those. I will show you some photos. I'll bring you to the property location on Google Maps. So doing a lot of this stuff from my computer, showing you these te this technology that's available when you're looking at raw land. To start with, this is what we have on our hands, uh, 35 acre property. There's no address to the property, so if you're interested in viewing it, you can type in the neighbor's address to get there, but what you're gonna do with a lot of vacant properties is look it up by GPS coordinates, and all I'm doing is plugging those into Google Maps. So for those of you who don't know how to use it, we will post GPS coordinates in our website listing, and you can copy and paste those right into Google Maps. So quick bird's eye view, we're up in Northern Shasta County, not too far from Reading, um, south of the Oregon border. We're pretty close to a little town called Fall River Mills, uh, MacArthur. This area is known for uh, ranching, homesteads, farming, um, hunting, uh, vacation spots. So there's a lot of cool outdoor recreation around here. And that's what drives a lot of people out there. Um, to me, when I see this property, I think, you know, homestead, investment, uh, maybe a place to get a getaway spot. And this is a cool tool too. For those looking at vacant land, whether it's this property or something else, hey, this could be a long drive if you live down in the Bay Area. There's a lot of tools on Google Maps and Google Earth to show you what you can look at here. Um, you can really get a good idea of the area. And the next thing I wanna show you is what it looks like on Google Earth, so you have a better picture of that. Um, we offer a link to download this on your computer if you have Google Earth Pro at home. So you can dial into Google Earth Pro, um, let's say you want to visit it. This is a lot of land. You know, how do you know exactly where the boundaries are? Is it going to be marked? Um, it may or may not be marked. A lot of properties that erodes over time, it's not visible. It's tough. We're going to post corner GPS coordinates. But using Google Earth to view something, let's say I wanted to go visit it, and I was able to identify maybe a natural feature in the landscape. Um, maybe that's this clearing here. It looks like there's a road almost right there. We can zoom in on that. Um, but the road frontage is probably, you know, over a mile, um, probably about 400 to 500 yards. So that, that gives you an idea if you want to step foot on a corner, if you can identify maybe some natural features in the landscape on a corner of the property. Um, maybe this one's more obvious because you do have this house next door. Okay, I've got to the house. You can probably look up this house's address um, on, and I can show you right here. So 41005 MacArthur. So you look this up, you know this house is right here. Um, looks like there's almost a driveway here. You could almost walk off, like I said, 450 yards across that road frontage um, using the ruler on Google Earth. You know, how far back would you be walking? That'd be another 450. So we're pretty square property right here. Um, this gives you a, a look at the landscape too. This is a flat property. You'll see some residential um, getaway spots here, some people that have acreages. Um, over here is owned by PG&E, and we can look at that ownership right here um, and you won't have this this overlay on your system on Google Earth but what you can do is go to Shasta County's GIS system and you can search the parcel ID number which I have up in the left hand corner here it needs to be without the dashes so you'll erase those and this will come up and you can actually click into adjoining lots I messed that up there Let's search that again. And I can click on adjoining lots too. And you can see what the ownership and the county records are showing. So that's something for your records, assessor page, uh, assessor inquiry. So you can look at that. You can search parcel IDs with Shasta County. And again, on our website, we're gonna have a lot of these photos. I won't spend a lot of time um, clicking through them, but I will click through them and show you some videos as well and talk about FAQs. We'll get the question, is there water there? So this property, there's not going to be community water. There's not going to be city water. This is going to be something where you install a well. And partial, a lot of the property, I believe, is fenced. And that's what our photographer mentioned. Um, some of it might have been taken down, and some of it is still there. So you should, you'll uncover that when you get there. So that's probably some valuable fencing that may be left on the property, or even your adjoining neighbors put fences up. But again, homestead, you know, ranching, business ideas, um, investment, just a lot of land to go out and enjoy, maybe a little hunting spot, uh, place for the family and friends to go camp on the weekends. 
So that's what I think of when I get to this property. And people are going to ask, you know, what can you do with the property? How about septic systems? Um, so sewage, there's no going to, there's going to be no city sewer. So septic system is what you're going to need to develop on this. And um, we'll also have these movie, um, movies, <laughs> call it a movie if you want, but um, it's our photographer. There'll be these longer videos. Um, I won't keep you this long on this video going through these, but I do want to mention that these will be on our website and our photographer will have some um, commentary on it and you'll be able to see, you know, we had somebody out to the property. This is how we buy land. We buy land sight unseen at Wilco Lands. So we rely a lot on this feedback. That looks like fencing. Um, looking at, for, this is the road in on our property. Um, I believe, again, we're buying these things sight unseen. I wanted to show you a longer range view. And that could be, um, here's some details. Power, we'll get the question about power. That's gonna be one of the least of your concerns. I mean, there's power lines running across MacArthur Road that I showed you on a map. So those power lines will be there. Um, people will also, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, you can see some fencing there. This must be our property the photographer is zooming in on. And we'll get a wraparound. So these are the views across the street. I wanted to show you that. This is a beautiful area in Northern California, like I said, outside of Shasta County, some fencing left on the property. There's been some use, maybe some ranching out here that's pretty popular. Um, the last question we get is, hey, what can you do with the property? You know, what is zoning? Um, zoning is what you're going to want to look at when it comes to land use. And we'll post what the zoning is. So for this property, we'll also post the link to this website. And you can click it. And where you're going to go is go down to zoning here. There's a lot more. You can always call, call the county offices. Hey, looking at this property, it's APN number XYZ. You know, what can you do with this? What are my possibilities if I were to buy something like this? So that's something you can look at. Um, this property is zoned EAAP, and you'll see that open space district, MR district, um, these are abbreviations. Let's see if I can search EA. So the, this is a combined district, I believe, and agriculture, ex exclusive agriculture district. So you can read about the purpose of that. Permitted uses here, um, one family residence, agriculture uses, sale of products grown on premises, um, wholesale nursery greenhouse, forest management. So low intensity recreational uses, a lot, you know, winery, you know, whatever you, whatever business ideas you have, I mean, that might fall underneath it, right? Traditional housing. So an accessory unit. So this, these are great things as open zoning. We like to see this. It's not very restrictive. Um, these are conditional. You know, you might need a permit for some of these um, different uses. So um, uses requiring dog kennel, uh, you know, things like that. So food ranches, riding stables, yada, yada, yada. Other permitted uses, um, site development standards. Um, so you read on and on. So we have this link. Um, this is combined district. Let's see if there's an AP, agriculture preserve. So it is combined with this district. Um, all use permitted in EA, um, yada, yada, yada. So this is what we're looking at for AP. It's really just, um, there's a conservation act back from 1965. So um, in said contract, you can read more about it on your own time. So that's about all I have. This is 35 acres. We're gonna have all these details listed on Wilco lands. We have other properties here as well. We do offer owner carry for those interested. Um, our blog page posts a lot of educational material, a lot of FAQs are on there as well. So that's what I have for you today. I'm closing out on a 35 acre in Shasta County, California listed here at Wilco Lands. Thanks for listening. My name's Miles. Give us a call, 605-299-5553.